Take All it right. away. Would you rather wear matching onesies on stage or have to choose each other's outfits before performing? Okay, what are what are the onesies? Can it be like a any onesie? Does that have to be an animal, like a furry? Oh no, no, no. You could any kind of onesie. Like you do like a union suit. Have, like, a boiler suit. Is that a onesie? Like I'm a white suit to that. Hmm. No. Yeah, I, that sounds like a onesie to me. Yeah. I'm yeah. Choosing. I'm okay, down for that. Onesies. Wow. <laughs> <Cool. That was laughs> okay. easy. And then you can sell onesies at the festival. Can't wait. All yeah. right. And here's the next all, one. All the onesies. <laughs> That's what's cool. Yay. All right. Would you rather write pirate theme music or like sea shanties, I suppose, <laughs> or write sports themed music? <laughs> you tell me, Steve. Yeah, I'll do both. I'll do either one. You want, you know. Steve will do whatever pays the bills, man. I, I, yeah, I, I do music for TV commercials. Oh, that's awesome! So th this is this is. Uh, I have no uh, professional opinion on this one. <laughs> have you ever written a, a sea shanty? No, so maybe that one. Okay. Arr, I, am there. I am there for it. Yeah, Does I love a good sea hurt? shanty. <laughs> <laughs> Jeremy, do you have? I, hey, man, I'm down for whatever pays the bills. Fair enough. Okay, I love it. This is easy. All right, next one. Pirates. <laughs> Yar. You think it's the R, but it's really the C. Oh, All yes, right, let's Danica. Okay. Uh, would you rather perform a show suspended in air or perform a show surrounded by candles? Suspended in air would be cool. I mean, it would be like in the air tonight. Wow. I'd, 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 I'd be terrified. <laughs> I would be too a scary. I have to pick the candles. Although I'd have to be, I'd be terrified of setting things on fire and knocking one over. With Let me tell a little story that goes along with this. Is one time we played this show at South by Southwest, and there were these. We lit these candles and this tiki bar around our stage. <clears throat> Not us. Blue October. No, Blue October. This was years ago, like before years. <clears throat> And the fire marshal came in and was like, you got to put those candles out. There's all these palm leaves above you, blah, blah, blah. So, you know, I, there were these big, tall candles, and the flame was down, like, really low. You know those, like, cylinder candles that you get at the grocery store? Or oh, like, yeah. like the one in the picture there. Religious-type candles. Yeah, similar. Yeah. <clears throat> Uh, sorry, I was waving at my daughter. She's looking out the window at me. <laughs> and, and so I picked up the candle and I threw it to the bar manager. Like, lit? Yeah, it was lit. But it was halfway down the thing. Oh. And all this wax went on his silk shirt. Oh, God. And um, the fire marshal was still there. <laughs> so the fire marshal thought I was trying to set this dude on fire <laughs> and so our front of house guy because that's all we had at the time came on he was running monitors and front of house he came on in my monitor he was like jeremy you need to get out the back door the fire marshal is going to come and arrest you for throwing the candle to the dude was this what at what point in the show was it before or after or during this was during the show oh like, my god oh. And so I split out the back door and went and hid in our van, which was blocks away. Uh, and luckily, I made it through the event without like wow. bodily harm or. Is this the first time you've told anybody about this? No, no. <laughs> it was him. <laughs> yeah, I know. It might be the first time I've told anybody like really publicly, but like the full band knew, like. The venue obviously knew. I came back later because of the venue we always played at. I apologized to the dude for ruining his whatever silk shirt he had on because it was like very expensive. Hmm. And uh, you know, but I didn't get arrested, and you know, nobody got killed or caught on fire. And to this day, South by Southwest is still looking for the infamous yeah. candle thrower. <laughs> yeah, it was during South by Southwest, but it was. Like off the beaten path of South by Southwest, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, one Fair of those enough. Things. So, but, did they have to finish set without you drumming? No, it was the end of the set, it was so crowded, like, nobody could reach the stage. It was a tiny little bar, nobody could reach the stage. 
Um, not even the fire marshal with his flashlight. Oh, God. And, and then they were like, okay, you need a split, bro. We'll pack up your drum. That's but, insane. Yeah, it was, it was cool, man. Breaking the law. Breaking the law. <laughs> so you're going to pick suspension, I assume. Um, all right. Fair. Okay. Here's the next one. <laughs> Would you rather arrive to a show by way of scooter or arrive to a show by way of hayride? I think that's my scooter on the left right there. Yep. Sure that's is. A, that's a 61 Vespa uh, with a 200cc engine in it. So I think I'll go that route. Okay. So I'll, I'll do the same because there are two of them there. <laughs> and that, uh, Steve, on the right, that's Big Ron's scooter. The red, the red thing with the people in it? <laughs> no, 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 the the gray one. <laughs> yeah, the red thing with the people in it. That's Big Ron scooter. Yeah, that's Big Ron scooter on the right with the black fenders. <laughs> oh. oh, my jaw hurts. Okay. Oh All right. God. All right. Let's move on. <laughs> All right. Would you rather? Oh, my. Uh, have a, a music video for Harvard the South directed by Spike Jones or directed by Hype Williams. Is that what Spike Jones looks like? Mm -hmm. I mean, <laughs> well, I don't really care. I just want a music video directed by somebody. I, <laughs> I mean, uh, Bill, Bill's been doing a pretty good job, right? Yeah, I'd say Bill is more like Spike Jones. I mean, more than Hype Williams. I think if Hype Williams were to do a Harvard of the South video, it'd be a hell of a lot of fun. And very expensive. And very, uh, yeah. well, either yeah. one would be kind of expensive. Yeah. More, more so than Bill. Right. Okay. Although Bill is Bill is worth it. Yes. But All right. Can we get the car that goes like this? Like the hydraulics? Yeah. We'll ask. Ooh. Yeah. Because yeah. that can sway, up, sway up in the direction of Hype Williams. Oh, fair <laughs> enough. All right. If we get the hydraulics. All right. Here's the next one. Would you rather... Cover a Beach Boy song or cover a Ramon song? Not much of a difference between the two of those. <laughs> That's a tough one, right? I mean, Rockaway Beach is not too different from like Surf and Safari. Hmm. Okay. I'm right? kind of down for both, really. My first, my first real concert was the Beach Boys. What? Jealous. <laughs> Yeah. So yeah, I, I I'd like to cover a song by either one of those dudes bands. Okay, fair. Two meaning plural dudes. Yes. Okay, Steve. Um, I'm I'm good for either one too. I I have an aversion to Sloop John B. Mm. Can't oh, okay. can't do it. My dad. I like that song. Okay. You like yeah, that song? I'm sorry. Well, then I'll I'll stop. No 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 no. It's fine. I I mean, it's totally fine. <laughs> I'm I'm a pet, I'm a pet sounds like but I don't think that song's on pet sounds is it? I think it is. I love pet, pet sounds. sounds. But yeah. Uh, but yeah, God only knows and um Caroline no a beautiful songs but yeah that one song for whatever reason just Well just skip it. Just skip that one. Yeah. 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 We'll but do all the others. <laughs> everyone. Oh all boy. Right. Okay. Exciting. Yeah. All right. I think we have two more left. Ooh, Danica. Right. Would you rather Go back and attend Nirvana's oh. Unplugged set or go back and attend Live Aid. I think Nirvana's Unplugged set for me. Yeah. What? Who, who? Led Zeppelin? Who else is on Live Aid? Zeppelin, The Who? Um, Live Aid uh, was Queen. Freddie Mercury. Yeah, Queen. Yeah. Queen, yeah. Um, but, Elton John. Um, I know Run DMC. Um, yeah. I mean, it was too, too many for yeah. me to even Did recall. You two there? At Live Aid? I don't know. I don't remember. I think maybe maybe so. Yeah, they were all there. George Michael. That's a tough one. I might do I might want to do the Nirvana too, just because I can imagine the spookiness. The spookiness. Yeah. And, yeah. and, and the, the heaviness. Knowing what we know now. <laughs> yeah, true. And for me, live aid, like, what if you have to go to the bathroom? <laughs> it's like any festival, yeah. man. One, one time there was this Blue October Long Wave Harvard of the South festival, and you couldn't you couldn't find a port <laughs> line. No one could even get out of the audience to go pee. There was a fire marshal with his flashlight. It was like 
<laughs> candles everywhere. <laughs> oh man. Oh. Candles all over the place. <laughs> it was palm leaves, like oh. dried palm leaves. Right? <laughs> Some asshole threw a fire at my silk shirt. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. Hey, wait. Oh man. This is good. This is oh, yeah. there it is. <laughs> Jeremy, put it down. Easy. <laughs> Easy. Whoa. Whoa. All right. All right. Here's the last would you rather. Would you rather do a cover song from the first band you ever saw live or write a song about your favorite movie? Mm. Probably the cover for me. Man, I think the cover, I mean, it was Beach Boys for me, so. There you go. And you didn't want to immediately cover a Beach Boys song instead of the Ramones? Man, I do. Because I don't know a lot of the Ramones songs. I was never into that. I was into other stuff. My parents weren't big rockers, and I didn't have an older brother that was a little bit older than me to show me that stuff. So I was like Michael Jackson and mm. these things like that. But yeah, but I mean, I don't know. To write a, a song for the Step Brothers soundtrack. <laughs> <laughs> well, it doesn't have to be that. I mean, bo Boats and Hoes kind of got it covered, but. Yeah, but, Boats and Hoes. <laughs> boats and Hoes. Well, is that your favorite movie, Jeremy? Or what, what's your favorite it's not, movie? It's not my favorite movie. My favorite movie of all time so far, and this is creepy, is uh, uh, Silence of the Lambs. <gasps> wow. Oh, that movie. I want to hear the song Hello Clarice. I wait for it. <laughs> Hello Clarice. <laughs> I want this to be on Broadway. Do you hear the lamb screaming? <laughs> oh, I was vibing. Chloe remake of uh, something with something somebody else. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Steve, what about you? What, what's your favorite film? That's, I guess, the first question. Oh, the film? Oh, I was going to pick the cover, but the film? Oh, uh, gosh. Uh, it's like anything else. It's like, what's your favorite food? Depends on the mood you're in, right? Sometimes my favorite film could be Back to the Future. Oh. Some, sometimes it could be The Godfather. Sometimes it could be... Uh, Let's see that crossover. Star Wars. You know? <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah, it, 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 like, it's hard to pick well, favorite. Do you hear that sound you're looking for? Hey, well, listen to this. Well, listen to this. <laughs> <laughs> Love it so oh much. God, yeah. Okay, so cover song from the first band you saw live. What band was that, Steve? So I have a confession. I was an MTV hair metal kid. Yes. So uh, my first concert was uh, Cinderella. With Winger and the Bullet Boys opening. Oh shit! <laughs> I would go I, to that now. And I, <laughs> Are you I, kidding I, me? I remember that at the Cinderella at the time that the hit song was "Don't Know What You Got Till It's Gone," and it's a yeah, song, no. it's a ballad, yeah. and the singer Tom yeah. Kiefer came down from the from the ceiling, the rafters, uh, on a white piano. Like floating down on hydraulics while he's playing the opening, and he played the whole first half of the song by himself as he's. And when he hits, when he finally gets to the stage, the band kicks in and they play the big chorus. And, That's and I was just like, you know, That's like, cool. Yeah. So, um, <laughs> yeah, so the whole be, band's like looking at him, like, No, not yet. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, okay. So, and then recently there's a new book called. Nothing But a Good Time, written by a friend of mine named Tom Bojour. He's a writer guy. But it's all about, if you're a fan, it's a really, really great, fun book called Nothing But a Good Time after the Poison song. Mm -hmm. But there's, it's like, um, you know, it's it's all, uh, what's the word, firsthand uh, interviews. There's no, like, narrator. It's just, like, one after another, the people talking about what happened in, from, like, late 70s L.A. up until, you know, you know, nirvana basically but there is a point where tom Kiefer from cinderella talks about the p the white piano and i was reading like i remember i was 10 I was there. Yeah. Oh. And, and, and apparently it cost them so much money to do that <laughs> like I knowing what you know now as an adult and like production costs of a tour they didn't make any money on those on that tour they were just trying to give do the show and, and the idea being that like if you came off bigger than you were you might fake it till you make it kind of thing 
but so yeah, the white piano, Cinderella, my first concert. I remember that the Bullet Boys opened the show and the first song they came out and played, the singer went, one, two, fuck you. And I was with my dad and I was so embarrassed that my father would have to hear that kind of language. Oh, yeah, I, I took my I've parents- I've never heard it before. Exactly. <laughs> I took my parents like a couple of years ago to a Motley Crue show, which yes. like was, oh my God, they loved it so much. Was it the one with the roller coaster drum, Tommy? Yeah, it was Alice Cooper and Motley Crue, like the last time they were like, we're not a band, we're retiring. And now- Yeah, again. The contract. Right, the the contract thing. But I'm excited to see them and Poison and Joan Jett whenever I that tour. I had tickets before the shutdown. I had tickets oh. to New York. Did you really? Um, oh, yeah, dude, I saw I saw Motley Crue with a different singer, John Karabi. Yes, John Karabi, and it was right after Tommy Lee got out of jail for uh, beating Pamela Anderson oh, or whatever yeah. it was, and it was at a three thousand seater in Austin. And it was an amazing concert. And then we we later opened for them at like uh, some rock festival show. And that was amazing. I mean, he's an amazing drummer. It's Motley Crue, right? He Tommy Lee was losing his mind because he couldn't hear anything. Mm. So he was throwing sticks at anyone that was in view of him. That's too bad. <laughs> It was it was sad, but it was also very Motley Crue. Yeah, it was throwing very sticks, cool. throwing candles, very you know. part of the act. <laughs> yeah, and, uh, it was cool, and I got to take a picture with Tommy and blah blah blah. But man, Motley Crue, like, what a fucking rock band! I mean, yeah, yeah, Ooh. yeah. Well, girl, I look girl, forward to girl, seeing right, Steve. Sorry. Girls, 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 you just sent me a tape like the other day. Steve sent me a oh, video man. of a, a cassette tape. I have it right here, yeah. And it was like on his four track, and it was like a, a dub of the girls, girls, girls. Well, record. it turns out I had recorded over it, basically. Oh. But, but whenever what I did stopped, girls, girls, girls would come in. Kept going. <laughs> <laughs> Remix. It yeah. was yeah. It was you know yeah. I, at some but point, great rock and roll, man. I, I, mean, I tried to leave cool. my roots behind, but the root, you know, you can take the boy out of the hair metal, but but do you really do. want to? Yeah. No. Well, you can't no. take the hair metal out of the boy, is what I'm trying. Well, to say. Hence, there's a guitar solo in every song on our album. <laughs> so, Please, fuck yeah. <laughs> 